Good morning, brothers and sisters. I found a very encouraging article on RaptureReady.com by Jan Markell entitled, How to Survive as Remnant Believers. And I wanted to read that for you today. I am hearing more and more from believers who say they are among the last day's remnant, trying to tell the truth and be watchmen on the wall. They are paying a price. They are facing rejection and scorn, even from fellow believers. I hurt for many of these fine Christians. They are watching the signs of the times. They are connecting the dots that say time is running out. They are warning others that so much of what the Bible prophesied for the tumultuous last days is beginning to play out, but they are finding few have ears to hear. Remnant believers will travel across town and across country to be with the like-minded, sometimes even across oceans. And when they find one another, it is like discovering a gold mine. Though almost always in vain, these believers have talked to church leadership about their concerns, including topics missing from the pulpit, but they are genuinely blown off. Some are asked to leave the church. They only wanted their church to major in the majors, topics and issues that would equip the saints. We should expect mockery and worse, as it is predicted in 2 Peter 3. Watchmen are going to be seen as troublemakers, for we are studying and keeping alert. We understand the times as did the sons of Ishakar. The tragedy is that our critics are the clueless ones. Nonetheless, when it comes to charting our times and the lateness of the hour, stick to the Bible. Trendy new signs and theologies come along frequently. Some are intriguing and thus become an internet sensation, but they are not sound. Understand that the end time church is racing towards Laodicea and is more interested in conforming than transforming. Many churches and leaders will focus on your best life now. You might long to be in eternity with the Lord and with loved ones and escape a sin-wracked earth. You will not be understood. But we cannot survive alone. Seek out a Bible study or small group fellowship where you can relate with the like-minded if your church is lacking. Even an online group is better than no fellowship. As you encourage there, you will be encouraged. Things are going to grow darker and we must shine brighter. News of the day can be shocking and disheartening. God is trying to wake us up and shake us up so we will look up. A few will awaken and some will listen, so we must not unplug from news and information because you might be someone's early warning system. Resist being disillusioned. The prophets of old long to see and live in our day. We are privileged and challenged to be here for such a time as this. Remember the warning to the watchman in Ezekiel 33 verse 6. If we are silent when we should speak up, the blood is on our hands. The Bible suggests an end time church will be small. In Luke 18 verse 8, Jesus asks if he will find any faith when he returns. Many will have fallen by the wayside. Thank God for the remnant that holds to the truth and spreads truth. I have recently read where only 6% of the UK is Christian, and this could include denominations that are not totally solid. Remember that God has everything under control. Things are lining up. Things are falling into place. Nothing is falling apart. We get to watch the stage being set. In the end, we win. So does Jesus Christ. The world will bow their knee to him. Anticipate your crown for those who long for his appearing. Get your focus off self and onto others. Everyone has a challenge. Health, family, finances, career, isolation, and more. Encourage at least one person a day. That will make your day and theirs. Many of today's churches, and thankfully not all of them, are following the church growth formula that will never include issues remnant believers love to hear about. This was predicted. The rise of apostasy, wolves, false teachers, and more may be the most prominent end-time warning in the Bible. Finding the right church sometimes takes years for remnant believers. If you're going to be a remnant survivor, you need to figure out how to be a part of the solution to the sad state of church affairs. 
Bouncing from church to church is likely not the best idea. But sitting multiple times a week under bad theology, music with spiritually unhealthy lyrics, or leadership that is just dysfunctional is also not an option. Cutting yourself off from fellowship is no better. A remnant of fabric is a discarded piece of cloth that no longer has a purpose until someone comes along and makes a beautiful quilt out of it. You may be that quilt. You will ultimately shine brightly, certainly in eternity, but perhaps before, so don't despair. The hour is so very late. Someone might warn the world. God may be calling you to be the one to do that. Watchmen have a lonely assignment. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have appointed watchmen all day and all night. They will never keep silent. Isaiah 62, verse 6. Maranatha.